James McLaughlin with Jamalto. I'm here to talk to you about using strong authentication with direct access. Uh, with Jamalto, we're all about securing your digital life, and part of your life is as an employee in a corporation. And a corporation is going to want to protect their intellectual property and all of their assets. And with that, you need something better than just username and password. You need what's called two-factor authentication or strong authentication. You're in the corporate office and you're going to use two-factor authentication, ID confirm, one-time password, to access, to log in and access the corporate network. So I go in, get my user prompt, and I type in my uh, password. And then I'll need to get a one-time password. There's a couple ways to do that. I've got a token that's a FOB kind of token, where you just press the button and it displays the one-time password. We also have it available on different mobile devices, a Windows phone, for instance, uh, iPhone or Android. So it's just an, an app. So here I'm going to go use my Windows phone, bring up the uh, one-time password or one-time password product, and enter in my PIN so I can authenticate to the app. And then it'll display a one-time password that I then enter in here. And then we're in. The next scenario I'd like to go through with you is when, let's say, you're traveling and uh, you're outside the office and let's say you're in a hotel room and uh, <clears throat> you get on the internet but what you do is you, since you're not connected to the corporate network, you don't have access to the corporate resources and that's what direct access is all about. So with direct access it's a replacement for the VPN so that you can seamlessly get into the corporate network. Again you go back to the login prompt and there you'll just log in with your regular username and password. So now I get logged in <clears throat> And uh, I use uh, maybe edit some files or things like that. But then at some point, I need to go into the corporate network to, let's say, get some uh, proprietary information or protected information. So let's say I want to go to IE and get to a website. You're going to be needing to use your one-time password. So I do that, and I bring up IE, and I enter in the website that I want to go to, and there we go. So now I have access into the uh, internal website for a corporation. So why is this important? Well, one, it protects your identity, it protects the corporate uh, resources, IP, and uh, it's certainly better than um, username password because you can, uh, in, one, in some ways, you can reduce the complexity of uh, your password policies because you have a second factor authentication. So the password requirements could be a little easier. They don't necessarily have to be as complex. And they don't have to necessarily be changed as often. So that only helps the users uh, have more manageable passwords, but also helps the IT help desk. So you have less calls for uh, having to change the passwords or having to reset passwords.